yes yes welcome to my channel I want you to like share subscribe um, now we're gonna make a mailbox and it's like a brick mailbox but we're gonna do like the base today gonna be a two-part thing so today we're gonna do the base um, got to make sure you get some 2 by 4 some people get the pre-made ones put them down cement um, I'm gonna do mine by myself get 2 by 4 cut it to the length you want so you measure I got mine 19 by 19 so this is all you want so we're gonna make a brick um, mailbox so the base once you get it done level out this where you want to level out Make sure when you put the 2x4 down, you want to check the lever. Make sure it's level this way. And you also want to check, make sure it's level that way. So once you got the levers, mine already pre-done. So we got it good to go right now. Now once we do that, we got the lever, everything out. We're going to mix with some cement, but you're also going to put some wire down to hold that concrete. We want to make sure the base is good because if the base is good, the whole thing good. So we're gonna put that there and put them up. Yeah, we need some strong base, so. What we're gonna do to get that in there or we can you know what you can do we can mix it first and then put it in so that's another way um, the old school way you know back in the days when we used to do it um, we used to put it in put some stone underneath it ice it up pour the concrete on it um, we used to use a steel rod but um, we're gonna use this today Got my drill right here, my mixer. So we're gonna mix them up. So usually what I do, I add me some water in the bottom first, get it going. Then I'll concrete mix now my advice to anybody doing this if you are a new person or you are a DIY person and you're not really that handy don't get the quick set ones then because you know you want to make a correction because if you get a quick set it's gonna set real quick on you you don't want that then you have to go back dig it up there so with this one now it's gonna take a little while to set but it's gonna make it more easier to work with for you. So if you make a mistake, you can correct it, okay? So I'm getting the one that said, show everyone. High strength, just add water, okay? Get your good drill. This is um, a Bosch hammer drill, electrical. With this one now you can uh, get good torque in it, so it'll be good for the thing. You can't use one of those like a cheap 
drill for this thing. What's up? How you doing? Who's that? Putting me up a mailbox. <laughs> yeah, I see. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna do a video and try to go do a YouTube thing. <laughs> okay. Alright, thank you. Have a good day. You too. <laughs> I'm getting it going. Now with this now what I like why I like to use this is quicker and less mess. See some people use like a wheelbarrow mix it pour then. I'm doing this this way. can mix like a constant like a peanut butter like thing a little bit softer, like peanut butter Get that mix going pretty much mix up so this is our first pouring I'm gonna pour it in Another batch, add some water to the bottom again, as what I said before. Make it easier to mix up once you add the water to the bottom so you don't stick up with the powder at the bottom in the corner. So once you do that, you make it a lot easier. Put this here. So remember, we're making the base. Once we make the base, our next step, we're gonna give it a day to dry. That's why it's gonna be a two-part episode. Um, after that, we're just gonna just Build it up and then put the mailbox in and we'll be good to go. level it out a little bit try again you know some of the tools I got in the right tools but we're gonna make it work DIY right <laughs> right. you know, we're gonna be using up the whole bag 19 by 19, 2 by 4, just to level it out. Seems like gonna let us use the whole bag up, so we're just gonna work with it like that. Add some more water, just got a little bit left. Painting as usual. Let me pour a little bit out of this. Empty them out. Now we're just gonna pour them in. Okay, so we 
got it. Now we're gonna just level it out. is a little bit soft so I'm just kind of mixing it up trying to get everything even out so. so you want to make it as level as possible because once you make it level as possible that's where pretty much once you're building up you don't want to lean one side you know either to the left or the right to the front or to the back you want it to be straight. So once you have a level base, that's the best part to start off with. gonna put this in so this just make it extra strong give it some extra strength So, got the base in. Now, it's not really relevant, but I like to check my stuff. Make sure it's still the same. Okay. So, now we got our base. Everything is level. Everything is perfected. Everything perfected. So, you know, I've got it going, everything good, everything good, everything good. So, this is the base. Now, we are, this is going to be a wrap up for today, part one. Um, part two, either going to be our next few days. You know, I got to go back to work. When I come back from work, my next day off, boom, I'm going to tackle that. going to take, um, usually, this could be a one day work, but I'm doing it for myself. I take my own time. So it's up to y'all, everybody, what they want to do, you know. I take me, take my own sweet little time. So next day off, we be set it up, knock it out, good to go. So for now, everybody have a blessed day. Be safe. And that's the base right there. All right. And check me out again. Patrick DIY man everything I did myself never go to trade never no school about trading just figure it out everybody can do it all right peace